So this video is going to show you how you can use Google Drive to save and store all your files and folders and how you can share those with other people. Um, so first of all, to get to Google Drive, there's a few ways. You could go to the waffle and click the drive icon and that would take you to your My Drive. Or um, you might have a bookmark like I've got here, which is always on my bookmark um, kind of shelf where I can get access that quickly. Or you can just type in drive.google.com and it will take you to the Google Drive home page. Um, so here is my My Drive, and this is where uh, I can store all of my folders and files and anything else um, that I want to use. And think of this as like your USB stick, but it's in the cloud. So um, you can access this from anywhere in the world as long as you've got internet access and you log into your Google account, go to Google Drive, and it will all be there. And you get unlimited storage if you have a Google for Education account, which is really valuable and it's something that businesses pay a lot of money for. Um, so if I wanted to create a new folder in my My Drive, so this is where uh, things are kind of private to me. You can share them and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but if I wanted to create a new folder, I just go up here to the new symbol and I can add a folder in. So I might call this admin. Um, and then inside the folder, it's empty at the moment, um, but I might want to create a new document. So I can do that from, again, the plus symbol. So if I create a new Google Doc, I might call this important info. Um, and back in the admin folder, it will pop up any second. Maybe I need to, oh, there it is. Um, if I want to upload something that I have on my computer, um, I could, for example, uh, drag in files or folders you can um, drag those in and they just upload in the background um, a quick thing to note for that if you are dragging in word documents or powerpoint presentations a tip would be if you go to the settings cog and click settings uh, there's a button here that by default is turned off but you might want to turn that on before you start uploading because uh, it will convert all of your files to Google Docs editor format, which is really useful for when you go to access them. You don't have to, to change them to Google Slides or Google Docs one by one. Uh, but that's just something to bear in mind. Now, if I wanted to share this document with people at my school, um, I could. Th there are lots of ways to do it. You could do it from within the document itself by going to the share. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it from Google Drive. So I've just right clicked there and gone you can go to share and then uh, you can type in uh, a different user and share it with them. And there are a few options for how much access you want to give them. Uh, maybe you want to let them be an editor. That means they can actually type and change things and delete things if they want. Or maybe just they can be a commenter um, or a viewer. And that's more like read only. So uh, they can see it, but they can't change it at all. Um, you can give temporary access. Maybe you have to share it first. Um, and that allows you to kind of let them view it, but only for a certain amount of time. So maybe uh, after a week or maybe even after just a, f a few days, uh, then they won't be able to access anymore. Um, so that might be useful as well in some situations. Um, but as you can see, it's shared that document by giving, by putting this symbol here, but it's not shared the PDF. Um, so if you have lots of documents, you might not want to have to share them individually. So you can share an entire folder with someone. So this time, either from my drive, you could right click the admin folder and go to share. Or from within it, you can go to here and click share and do the same thing. So I might type in user one. Uh, once again, you can choose whether they can view the files in that folder or comment on them or actually edit them. Um, and so if you give access to a folder, that means now anything that you put in this folder is automatically shared with whoever you've shared the folder with. Um, and again, you can always change that. You can remove access or give temporary access um, if you'd like. So that's really useful, sharing your files and folders. Um, but there's another really useful thing for schools because you know we, we use collaboration so much, um, you might want to start your own shared drive. And that is slightly different to 
creating your my drive and then sharing it individually or sharing individual folders um, because once you create so maybe if I call this planning once you create a shared drive um, any files that you put into here will actually belong to that shared drive and that has benefits so for example if a member of staff leaves and they had all the planning in their account and their account gets shut down or, or suspended that means everyone else loses access to it um, and so if you keep it in shared drives that's just the best way to do it really um, again you can manage the members so you can decide who has access and you can either do it user by user or you can share it with an entire group so if you have like an all staff group you can share it with all staff and then when new members join uh, in September or whenever you can just add them to the group and they'd automatically get access to the shared drives uh, if they're part of that group again there's different settings for, for whether you want them to be managers and that means they can add other people um, or whether they can just contribute or comment or view only um, but shared drives are really, really useful. And again, it's unlimited storage, so you can just put all your planning on there. Um, you can access it from home or on the bus on your phone if you get the Google Drive app, um, and it's just really, really useful. So further down, we've got shared with me. So this is where if someone's shared something with you, you can find it in here. You, you should also get an email, and sometimes that comes through quicker, I find. So you can get uh, the document or presentation, whatever it is from there. Um, recent is really useful so if I've just been working on important info and then I can't find it if I just go to recent it does it in, in kind of reverse order so I can just open that and carry on working on it another tip if you close something and then you want to open it again there's a shortcut which is command shift and T on a Mac or maybe control shift T on a Windows device and if you you can press it more than once and it will open up any tabs that you've recently closed um, that's also a trick that works if you've got any students who are using uh, Chromebooks or, or anything else. If it's on Google Chrome, you can just go over. If you see them quickly trying to close tabs because they're on something they shouldn't be, you can press Command, Shift, and T and open up, I don't know, maybe a game that they've been on and bust them. Um, so also Start is useful. That's useful for finding uh, maybe like a shortcut to any files that you want to find quickly so if I get that important info um, you can either click the star icon up here to uh, add it to your starred and now it, in Google Drive if I go to start it will be there as well important info so anything that you go to regularly and you can do that to folders as well so maybe if you've got a planning folder that's buried deep in a shared drive somewhere you can just add it to start and then it's it's like a shortcut really um, and also, if you want to move a file, so at the moment, important info is where I saved it in the admin, but you can go to file and move, or you can click this icon up here with a kind of folder with an arrow in it, and you can choose to store it somewhere else. So I might want to move this to that shared drive I've just created uh, called planning, um, and you can add a new folder in from this kind of interface and just call this info. Uh, and then when I move it here, it will give me a little warning and it will say now ownership is going to transfer from you um, to the name of this organization. And so it, it's basically warning you, anyone who's a part of that shared drive will be able to see this document. Are you sure? Um, so you can say yes, move. And it will move it from there to there. Um, otherwise, you can just kind of drag things from one place to another. Um, and that works quite well as well. Uh, where's admin? Yeah, so you can just move things to put them into other folders. Um, your bin is where anything that you've deleted goes. Um, and it used to be it would stay there forever, but now they've recently changed that, so it only lasts for 30 days. Um, I'm going to quickly show you advanced search, which I use all the time. If you're disorganized like I am, uh, advanced search, I mean, you can just type in and search for things. But if you click the little drop down arrow, you can search for a particular type, like maybe just documents or spreadsheets or uh, maybe videos or something else. You can search for who owns it or maybe something that you own or you don't own. Uh, you can look in different particular locations. Maybe it's in a shared drive, but you can't find it in there. Um, 
you can look for dates so maybe it was something you were working on yesterday but it seems to have disappeared and this happens to me all the time um, an advanced search is just really useful for finding things really quickly and the last thing i'm going to show you is uh, again really really useful it's called drive for desktop or google drive file stream um, and once you've installed that on your device it means from so if i go to uh, for example finder it on a mac i can now go to uh, google drive because i've signed into my school account and i can access my drive and share drive directly from my desktop computer um, so i could access planning um, and find maybe my year group and find a particular uh, presentation or piece of planning or anything else it's all saved in there um, so yeah we find that really useful at Britannia Education Trust um, so I hope that was useful and there are some tasks if you'd like to get hands-on and have a go at some of these things like moving folders and creating files and sharing and things like that um, so yeah good luck with those and thank you for watching <laughs>